Here we have for sale our 2018 on a 68 plate Mercedes-Benz Vito Sport. Sport is the spec of this particular vehicle. This has got the 2.1 litre CDI diesel engine in it, which is Euro 6. That's accompanied with an automatic gearbox. This is the 119 model, which means it's got 190 brake horsepower. And this is the compact short wheelbase version. And of course it is a crew, meaning it's got seats in the back as well. And what we're gonna do in this video is have a little walk around. We'll show you the spec that is on this particular vehicle because it is a 119 Sport Crew Automatic, but it has got a number of added options on it, which uh, some of which are clearer to see than others. And we'll also talk you through the condition, ownership, and service history of this particular vehicle, seeing as it is currently available for sale at the time of recording. So starting here at the rear of the vehicle, uh, we can see that this one has got a, a rear glazed tailgate. What I mean by that is a tailgate is one door which opens up like so, and glazed meaning it has got the rear window. You can see that this one has also got the rear wiper as well. And also here on the tailgate, you can see the badge there denoting the model. So 119 CDI, and then, as I say, sport. So as I say, 190 brake horsepower, fantastic power in a van of this size. And as I say, when you accompany it to that fantastic automatic gearbox, one of the best auto gearboxes in a van, in my opinion, um, it is a brilliant, brilliant package all in all. So in terms of condition of the tailgate, pretty much faultless if I am being totally honest, having a good look here at the paperwork, I mean, you can just see how clear the reflection is in that paintwork. It is really like a, uh, someone actually walked in here earlier and, and described it as a black mirror. <laughs> but you've also got a color coded rear bumper and you can see that we've got the rear parking sensors there nicely integrated into that rear bumper. Uh, this one has actually also got a reversing camera. Um, you can't actually see the reversing camera now because it only appears when you put the vehicle into reverse. And what it does, it pops out from just here. Um, so as I say, it's really, really nicely integrated there into this trim above the number plate. If we open up the tailgate then, we can start to have a look at the load area in the back of here. So you can see that it's propped up via these two gas struts and just nice little details on a sport like this very nice leather uh, grab handle just here and you can see the condition here inside the tailgate all in fantastic condition These are the sorts of areas if this fan had had a lot of use you would see these getting very easily marked Looking then into the load area then you can see that we've got the full comfort trim in the back of here So comfort trim is all of this plastic on the sides and you can see here from the factory This is all carpeted and it just gives the vehicle a lot more of a car like feel to it and you'll see, as I say, as we go around and inside the vehicle, um, there is a lot of sort of car-like features to this particular vehicle. We've also then in a Vito, which a uh, feature I really like, is that it's got a full proper headlining in here, which all uh, aids to deaden the road noise. Uh, and as I say, when you accompany that with all of this comfort trim on the back, uh, it does make it a lot better than some of its competitors in that regard. Condition in the back of here, again, very, very difficult to fault. I mean, clearly it is a it's a used vehicle, it's not brand spanking new, um, but in terms of condition, as I say, there's not really much I can fault it on here. We've got the nice hardware in plastic floor, and we've got these rails here in the back as well, where you can uh, actually get uh, sort of tie down points to put in there to be able to tie cargo down as well. Just above this rear interior light just here, you have this little black strip. And what that is for is when you are reversing, there'll be lights displayed on this panel here. The more lights, that you get on either side uh, that will tell you the closer you are to uh, an object behind you of course you have got many options so you can of course just listen to the beeps from the parking sensors uh, you can of course look out of the rear view mirror and out of the the glass window if you want to uh, and of course you've got the reversing camera as well so in terms of parking and maneuverability uh, they really have thought of lots of options with this particular van. Also on the rear tailgate, you can see that we have got the rear spoiler, which has been added onto this particular van. And again, that really ties in with the sport look of this van as a whole. Looking then down the passenger side of the vehicle. Now this is where we can really have a look in the reflections, not of me this time, but having a look at the, the reflections of those you know, bollards and buildings behind. And you can really get an idea of how clean and straight this particular vehicle is. Of course, as I say, it is a used vehicle. Remember that, it isn't brand spanking new. 
uh, but all in all it is in fantastic condition throughout. So just talking through a couple of bits of spec here, so we've got the nice chrome sidebars, we've also got the sort of satin grey, uh, satin black, sorry, should I say, uh, roof bars on here, and we've also got these lovely 18 inch uh, gloss black with a diamond cut face Wolf Race Assassin alloy wheels as well. These are very popular alloy, we supply a, a lot of these on uh, other vans as well, not just on Vitos, but we see a lot of these on uh, you know, transporters as well. So it's a very popular alloy and I think the correct choice for this particular vehicle. I believe this vehicle has actually been lowered as well slightly because just the way that that wheel there is sitting in the arch. I think that is sitting really, really nicely in the arch. So I believe this vehicle has been lowered all around and I think, as I say, that just really helps with the overall look of the vehicle. Looking then around to the front here, uh, and again, in terms of condition, very difficult to fault. There's a couple of minor stone chips, as to be expected, to the front end of the vehicle. But all in all, as you can really see here, hopefully the camera is conveying this correctly, just how nice and clean this is. Color-coded front bumper on a Sport, and you can see that we've also got front parking sensors integrated there. Front fog lights, and this one has got that lovely front splitter added to it as well. On a Sport, these you get these chrome trims on a Sport as standard. You don't get that on the more basic models. And as I say, I think that with that front splitter there, the, the you know the slight lowering, the alloy wheels, I think that is a very mean looking vehicle indeed. Having a look then down the driver side of the vehicle, and again, using those reflections where we can, it's looking in fantastic order throughout. It really does look really, really smart indeed, it must be said. And there's something about the sort of stance of this vehicle, being a compact, being that short wheelbase, I think that's one of the best looking vans out there in my opinion. If we open up the side loading door, it's actually twin side loading doors on this Vito. You can see they are glazed side loading doors, so there is a significant tint to those rear windows, but as you can see when I open this one, you can see clearly out from the inside. And then this gives us a chance to have a look at the rear seats in the van. So first thing that will strike you here is that we have got full black leather interior with this fantastic white contrast stitching, all diamond crested uh, stitch in here and we've also got the white embroidery of the Mercedes badge in all of the seats as well. Got the outer armrests and the two seats here are isofix compatible. The lovely thing with Vito rear seats is you have got lots of versatility and adjustment to these rear seats. As you can see, we've got that one there in the reclined position. You can do the same with these seats as well if you so wanted to. Um, the other thing you can do is you can fold them down. You can actually flip the seats up and you can completely remove them if you want to. And because these seats are split into a two and a one seating configuration, you can operate that single seat completely independently if you wanted to. So you could remove that seat and just leave these two seats in here. So if you had a longer object, maybe a surfboard or a bike or something like that, which you wanted to put in down the side, you could remove that single seat. And then, as I say, you could still carry four people in here in complete comfort as well. So lots of versatility, as I say, you can quickly release these. Um, it is a two person job for the double seat here. They are quite heavy, uh, not something you'd want to carry on your own. But as I say, you can quickly flip these forward in a matter of seconds and you can quick release them from the from the floor and uh, and you're away and then you're into uh, you've got all the practicality of a normal short wheelbase Vito van so that is what makes these vans so so good is that you can carry five people in them in complete comfort with a big load space behind or if you want to you can move one seat you can move all the seats uh, I say lots and lots of possibilities but the lovely thing with this particular van is as a the, just the level of luxury that they've gone to here this leather would have been added afterwards but as I say an absolutely fantastic job it really really is uh, and as I say you can just you can still actually smell the quality of this leather it really does uh, come across very very nicely if we open up the driver's door then we can start to have a look at the spec inside the cab because then there is lots and lots of spec to talk about on a sport so starting here on the driver's door we have electric windows we have electric mirrors you've got front heated seats and again, just spinning around here to the driver's seat, you can see that we've got the same sort of thing going on here in terms of the leather on the front seat with this very nice sort of chunky bolster there on both sides, a really nice hugging seat indeed. And I say condition is absolutely spot on. 
but just a very, very classy looking seat. And I think it ties in really, really nicely with all of the black and chrome uh, elements on the outside as well. Leather multifunctioning steering wheel on the right hand side here. This is where you can control your phone and the volume of the radio. On the left hand side, this is where you can control the onboard computer. If we just look behind the steering wheel here, we have got paddles behind here. So you've got a paddle shift for the automatic gearbox. The automatic gearbox, like a lot of the Mercedes cars, is controlled on that stalk just there. If you turn the steering wheel over to the left hand side, you've got this additional stalk down here as well, which is where you can control the cruise control and the speed limiter and if we look at the dashboard there you can see the mileage at the bottom 8,929 miles so exceptionally low miles on this particular example you can see there's no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard it's all idling correctly as it should looking down here to the right hand side you've got auto uh, auto lights this vehicle will also have uh, automatic wipers as well looking down here if we take this auto glim mat out of the way you can see that we've got the full sport carpet mats in in the front here if i move those out of the way you can see that's protected the floor absolutely perfectly as well very nice indeed a little quirk with vetoes that third pedal up there that is how you engage the handbrake and that's how you release it if you've never driven a veto before it does take a couple of attempts to just to get used to it but you get used to it in, in no time at all Moving then inside the cab here, jumping in to the driver's seat, and let's have a look at the screen up here. So, start off with, of course, this is the radio control just here. If we go on to Navi, you've got satellite navigation here, nicely integrated into the screen. If I put the vehicle into reverse, so foot on the brake, and flick that up to reverse, you will then get the reversing camera displayed there as well to put it back into park push the button on the end there and then it goes back into park and you are out of gear looking then down below we've got air conditioning in a uh, in a sport as standard nice big cubby hole down here with a 12 volt socket as well if i show you the passenger seat again same sort of situation with the passenger seat fantastic condition beautiful leather just there and we've also got service history with the vehicle as well so last serviced at 7,949 miles on the 17th of May 2021. So lovely to see that, that it has been, uh, you know, serviced, even though it's got exceptionally low miles, it has been serviced about a thousand miles ago. So jumping out of the vehicle, we'll do a quick recap of everything that there is to talk about with this particular van. So this is a one owner from new, Mercedes Vito 119 Compact, crew automatic sport van i know that's a long title but basically 190 brake horsepower five speed five seat crew van with the automatic gearbox in a fantastic specification you know being a sport as standard but this has got a lot of bits and bobs going on with it as well so uh, you've got of course the full leather interior you've got heated seats satellite navigation reversing camera all the usual stuff then such as air conditioning cruise control uh, auto lights and wipers and then on the exterior we've had a number of elements added such as this lovely front splitter the 18 inch uh, wolf race assassin alloy wheels chrome sidebars uh, roof bars would be standard and we've also got the rear spoiler as well i think it just looks absolutely fantastic it's a euro six so you can take this vehicle into the ultra low emissions zone areas such as central london without having to pay the ultra low emissions zone charge i don't know if i mentioned there are a couple of very very minor marks on some of the alloy wheels i don't know if i mentioned this when i was going around there's a couple of very sort of minor marks here or there all in all uh, as i say it is in very good order i say you will find this probably on it on, on all wheels just i say just small little uh, little marks here or there but uh, as i say all in all as a absolutely fantastic condition throughout hopefully as you will have seen in the video brilliant spec Fantastic miles, been maintained with Mercedes as well, and only one owner from new. We don't get many of these. It's going to be exceptionally hard to replace, and I'm sure it won't be with us long. If you'd like to inquire, please feel free to give us a call on either of the numbers listed there at the bottom of the sign. We can arrange finance on all of our vehicles, starting as low as 7.9% APR, and we can also take cars or vans in part exchange as well. Thank you very much for watching.